All right, what is up? Welcome to Spoiler Kings. My name is St. Curran with Brian Man Brandon down there, Brian the Grizzly over here, and we are going to talk about the newest MCU film, The Marvels. Uh, just came out this past weekend. We went to go see it. Um, so we're going to get into our ratings. Uh, we're going to talk about what we liked and disliked. Uh, before we do that, I don't know, Brian, do you have a quick uh, breakdown of what this one's about? Sure. Carol right. Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, was uh, has reclaimed her identity from the tyrannical Kree and taken a revenge on the supreme intelligence. However, unintended consequences see her shouldering the burden of a destabilized universe. When her duties sent her to a was a anomalous wormhole, a wormhole linked to the Kree revolutionary, her powers be, uh, become entangled with two other superheroes to form the Marvels. Yeah, that's pretty pretty simple. Um, so uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Brandman, uh, what are some things you liked about this one? Um, I liked the dynamic between the um the, the the three main characters carol danvers um monica rambo and kamala khan by the way during this whole review i'm gonna whenever i br- uh, bring up miss marvel i'm going to say the complete name kamala khan because i think it's a fun name to say <laughs> um but i i also liked that it um you know they, they played off each other very very well I thought the movie was pretty well paced. I also liked that it felt like a more complete movie than Captain Marvel did. To me, although I did like Captain Marvel, it felt like kind of like a, just like a second act and a third act. And this felt like a complete three acts. Uh, I liked the whole kind of whimsical element of it, especially like with things like the singing planet and some of the other uh, locations they went to from an intergalactic standpoint. Um, I liked the soundtrack. Um, I liked that uh, both the instrumentals um, sound soundtrack and it had a uh, Missy Elliott and a Beastie Boys needle drop, which which I'm a sucker mm-hmm. for. Uh, I liked that. Um, I liked to shake the hand of whoever designed the costumes for Brie Larson and Tiana Paris because they knew what they were doing. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, I, I thought. Uh, I thought. I, I think Kamala Khan is always a fun character to watch. Iman Vellani's, um energy as the character. I thought that a lot of the humor in the movie actually did land, unlike um, unlike Love and Thunder, where you know the, the humor just just kind of had me like like this at times, <laughs> like the um, the stop running and let the flirtins eat you scene just just cracked me up. <laughs> um, that, that that was hilarious. <laughs> Um, so I thought I, I thought it balanced um, like the serious elements and comedy um, pretty well, and um, it set the stage for a lot of stuff that I'm very excited for moving forward, which I know we're going to talk about later. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's, yeah, cool. All right, what you got, Brian? Uh, man, Tiana Paris. <laughs> Let's go. I told you mm-hmm. after the movie was over, I almost went off into space. Just to go, go find her. See what <laughs> which, which was I. Uh, so I knew what I was like. Okay, so eight oh eight two eight. Which one was it? Trying to find out which which universe multiverse she was in because she needs to come back. There's no way I can't have that. So <laughs> that's for one. But I I thought it was just, it was fun overall. Mm-hmm. It was a fun yeah. movie. Um, has some serious parts. Just need a better villain. I think if we had a mm-hmm. better villain overall, uh, this could have been really good. Mm-hmm. Um. But because of the villain, that's why I kind of lowered my, my 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 overall grade for it. But it was it was fun. I thought the the three main characters were great. You know, mm-hmm. Iman Vellani. I loved her mother in this. I loved yeah. the connection with the family. That was very mm-hmm. cool. You know, and having them as part of this whole thing that that just reminds you she's a kid. Mm-hmm. You know, and and how close her family were. You know, are. Um, mm-hmm. The connection between um, Monica and Carol was was weird, and it was, they did a good job making it weird. You know what I'm saying? Like making it feel like a little bit off. Like, oh man, I can't talk to you because you weren't there. You know, mm-hmm. you should have came back. I thought that all that was really good. And then Carol explaining why she wasn't there was very good too. Those parts were just really good parts of the movie and were very well written. I thought there was some other things that were kind of just you know didn't really matter to the plot, but I enjoyed this movie overall. I really did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, I mean, it, 
everyone's talking about these three, um, you know, Brie Larson, Aman, and Tiana. The, they were so great together because these three had such great chemistry in the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, it, they really worked so well together. Between the fangirl from from Miss Marvel to the like tension between um, Monica and and Captain Marvel, it, all around, man, it was really good. Um, you know, and then everything else you guys said, you know, it looked great. Soundtrack was great. Um, I actually like Sam Jackson in this movie. Um, one of my it didn't feel like Nick Fury though. It did. It, it, uh, no, you know, I can agree on that. I, yeah, it didn't feel like Nick Fury. I I liked. <laughs> I like you like Grandpa kill. Nick. It was Grandpa but, Nick. Yeah. Come on, sit on Grandpa Nick's yeah. on me right now. Yeah. And I, I want to say, you know, I, you know, I know we're going to get to the bad stuff, but Secret Invasion kind of messed up his part in this movie. If if they would have actually waited for Secret Invasion after this movie, I would be like, okay, yeah, he's still kind of chill. But it was like, well, he just went through all this shit that I just watched, and now he's like, yeah hey what's up kitty cat you know i was like what you know it was it's very like too chill which was fun but we got him in a not chill kind of thing that just happened bad timing on marvel's side but besides that i I actually thought he was kind of fun but he was kind of goofy and not really like nick fury fury but you know but overall it was it was it was it was good i enjoyed it it was fun definitely fun yeah trying to think anything else i think that's about it without repeating what you guys said um what about you guys? Any bad stuff? What didn't you like about this movie? Um, well, Brian, um, Brian mentioned this, and I agree. Um, it did suffer from from Marvel villain syndrome, as I call it, mm-hmm. um, where the the villain just wasn't anything impressive, and there was a lot of untapped potential. Um, you know, the the villain had an interesting backstory that I would have been interested. Um, they, they they could have expanded upon the villain and they just um, didn't. I also think um, as much as I liked the dynamic between the main three, it didn't seem like, like the final battle didn't really um, land for me. Uh, it just kind of seemed like it was like there was a lot that was kind of too easy for them, even though they were always kind of like switching powers at, at, at inopportune times. Um, it didn't seem like too big an inconvenience, and they kind of got a handle on it quickly enough. Um, I also, th- um, I agree about Nick Fury. I kind of understand why they went that route with him, but at the same time, you know, it was it, it was too much of an, of an abrupt shift from what we've seen in the past from him, I thought. And uh, what else was there? It... I'd, I'd 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 say that was mostly it, I think. Yeah, I'd say that was mostly it. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Brian? Um, I I, I just didn't like the villain. I mean, I thought that I, it's hard because I, I I don't want to talk about Tom Hiddleston's you know significant other. You know, you know, I'm glad mm-hmm. that he had a, such a great Loki you know ending, and you know, he actually it seemed like he was retiring from the MCU's, which we probably should talk about one of these times. But uh, <laughs> she just it was underwhelming. They didn't really give her. Um, we understood the backstory, but you should have probably fleshed out that backstory a little bit more to under uh, let us understand, you know, what's mm-hmm. actually going on. Um. I thought that, that was, I don't, it just was not, I just wasn't good. She just wasn't a good villain. And, and, you know, it very, it, it felt like something we've already seen. You know, we yeah. already, already saw this person. And why am I seeing it again? I saw it in Guardians of the Galaxy. Why am I seeing the same type of thing again? Yeah. You know, um, well, I wouldn't say it's not on her because she was fine, but it, she was just written bad. Yeah, it you know, just yeah. wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. She didn't suck it, as an actress. Oh, she, yeah. she's not a sucky actress, but that's not the point. The point is that you yeah. know, if we look at the movie, the movie just wasn't good. It's just, yeah. I mean, that, that, that part of the movie the, the, just the, you have to have a villain. You have to have a good written villain to make a great movie. And if you okay. have a good written villain that shows why they're a villain, then a lot it enhances the movie. And I don't think it did enhance the movie. Okay. And I, I, what's up, Anzo? Uh, I, I thought that was a problem. I, I I didn't really care about the the singing or what dancing plan. I really didn't care. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like I could take it or leave it because it could just it's it's not it's nothing. It was nothing to me. Um, 
I, I feel like they really didn't give a good Nick Fury. Um, as I said, I, I didn't. Nick Fury is supposed to be something, and that's not what they gave him. He could have still been the same character and did all the same stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think they, they played too much into all the characters being very just goofy and all that stuff when there are some serious moments. There's some serious moments that were really things that were hard relationship building stuff. You know, especially when we were talking about, you know, between uh, Monica and, and Carol. Mm-hmm. And I thought and I thought those things hit for me, but like why, you know, why would do does everything have to be so silly if some of those things hit? So it, was, mm-hmm. it, it just felt a little bit weird, but overall I still enjoyed the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and really that's really the only thing I didn't like either was was the villain. It was very, very mm-hmm. generic, very one one kind of note villain, you know, mm-hmm. and I wish they would have done it, something. Was, you know, like I thought she was gonna be from a different universe or something like that. You know, yeah, well, well, yeah I'm gonna get somewhere into, else. I'm gonna get into that dislike. But like Kenny said, he goes, I uh I like the villain's motivation. I just wish they put something in the beginning of the movie that we knew why she hated Captain Marvel. I agree. They, I, I they did well they did, but they put it in a little too late of the movie, I felt like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I understood her motivations. You know, it was, it, it was, it was kind of like Killmonger, where you kind of understand where where she was coming from. But you know, the difference is they did a lot more with Killmonger to make him a compelling villain. Um, yeah, it they just, showed it at the beginning of the movie. And you yeah, see, you, it and was, then they came back to it like, oh, I yeah. totally understand why he's who he, who he is. Yeah, they didn't tell us what was going on until we were what forty five minutes into the movie. Yeah, about that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but I also, felt like, like it may have been a little bit longer than that. But yeah. Killmonger, it's a lot of real life shit. So you don't, know, you know, history. You know, where yeah. hers was like, we were told in the first Captain Marvel that they're the bad guys. So Captain mm-hmm. Marvel went to go beat up the bad guys. But now we're like, wait, they're not all bad. You know, so stuff like that is like, yeah, you need to kind of maybe work that out a little bit more. And I think you could have. She's mm-hmm. just it was it was just it was just too super she was too superficial of of a villain, you know, nothing in depth, nothing really cared. Um, but my overall biggest dislike has nothing to do with the movie itself. It's the effing trailers, especially that last trailer, especially mm-hmm. that last trailer, because that last trailer, somebody left a comment on, on it and said, like, if, if you've seen this trailer, you've seen the movie. No, because that trailer had nothing to do. With what was going on, you know, she wasn't from a different dimension. She didn't even know fucking Thanos. They made it seem like she's like Thanos's like disciple, or she's picking up the mantle after Thanos kind of thing. It had nothing to do with any of that. It was a, it was just all revenge. It was super basic, no big deal. And I was just like the trailers, and th- and that's why it like makes me even more mad that these three actresses didn't get a chance to promote the movie because of the strike because. That would have been better than any of these trailers. Because one trailer we got was oh, super no. kind of corny. One trailer was kind of serious. But none of the trailers told us what this movie was about. Now, watching this movie, none of those trailers were good trailers. None of them. The flirting thing at the end, I thought, was 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 pretty <laughs> cute and funny. Um, mm-hmm. you know. And then they, they played it to uh, a cat song on top of that. Um, mm-hmm. I can't remember which which song from the, the musical Cats. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was like funny too to to hear, and all these cats are eating the people. So, because even then they're like like oh let the flirting eat you, and and like people are still running away. I was like, I mean I don't blame them because my girlfriend's like yeah why don't you just let them eat them? Because I'm like is the fucking monster going to eat you? I was like it's not I'm like accepting that especially like over an intercom. I was like it was like I love how calm bones. the guy on the I love how calm the guy on the intercom sounded about it too. Yeah, that just added yeah. to the humor of it for me. Just let oh. the flirkin eat you. Yeah, slow <laughs> down. Stop running. Yeah, yeah. It sounded like a brainwashed human kind of thing. What do you think about Valkyrie? Yo, it's cool to see her show up. Um, interesting to see her be able to uh, apparently uh, control the Bifrost herself. That's exactly. Mm. What I, I was like, she yeah. has controlled the Bifrost without any help. That was yeah. what I thought. Yeah. What's up, Dre? What's up? We were just no. talking about your show. What's going on, Dre? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, even Kenny yeah, said he liked the the Flurkins thing. So I might get to the comments in, in a little bit. Um. But yeah, the she was okay. But again, also it was like when when did 
Captain Marvel and Valkyrie even like get to know each other. You know, it was like well, they made it seem like they're BFFs, and I'm trying yeah. to remember. Who. I I think Who's that from? just kind of um you know that that kind of comes um uh comes with the territory at this point, and and I don't think it it was anything that needed to be justified with a scene. You know, they fought. In the war against Thanos together, you know, everyone attended Tony Stark's funeral at some point in time. I'm, you know, I, I, I just assume these these people crossed paths and, you know, hung out a little bit and became cool. You say <laughs> so, you're still uh, doing the blip. Mm-hmm. It, that's what I was thinking. It was like, like this boss girls doing boss girl shit, you know, kind of thing. It was like, yeah, I wish they would have like uh, hinted at something, you know, even a one liner like, oh, yeah. You know, maybe next, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, I get, you know, rich, powerful people know other rich, powerful people, you know, even in real world. So, um, so we're going to rate Miss Marvel. Uh, now, later, never. Now means you got to go watch it right now before it gets ruined. Later means uh, you can watch it when it's out on streaming. Never means just skip it completely. Brandman, what are you giving Miss Marvel or the Marvels? I'm sorry. I can give it a now. Um, if you're looking for a fun time, I think this really delivers, you know, it's, it's not, um, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call it top, like a top tier MCU movie, but it's a fun time. I think it, I think it did exactly what it set out to do. I think the, uh, the way that, that the main three play off each other was a major selling point for me. I, um, it, I just, I just had fun sitting through it. You know, mm-hmm. like I said, I thought, I thought a lot, a lot of the humor worked for me. You know, it was, it, it's 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 just a fun time. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I can I can give it a, a now. By the way, if for any of our viewers who are in the Chicagoland area, if you have not been to Alamo Draft House in Wrigleyville, go there. That's where I saw it. Very very nice theater. The food was good, and the seats are super comfortable. Check that theater out. Yeah. yeah. I will give it a now. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, Brian, what you giving it? So I was blessed to be able to watch this with my kids, and they loved it. My mm-hmm. wife and we had some parts where we looked at each other like, okay, that was a little weird. But overall, it was a fun, a fun family-friendly movie. And that's mm-hmm. kind of why I felt about it. You know, it was some cute parts and some, some other things and some serious parts that I can still enjoy. And, you know, it was good. There, there's some things that are, you know, I've had problems with, but overall, if I was going to just grade it, rate it, it's, it gotta be a now because it did everything it was supposed to do. Everything that the director said it was, it was. Mm-hmm. You know, she she told you that it's going to be fun. She's not going to take it take it too seriously, and you're going to enjoy the characters, and that's what it was. So mm-hmm. it's, it's a now for me. Yeah. Yeah, and same, you know, for both the both what you guys said and exactly on it, you know, it's just it was fun. It did what I expected it to do, and you know, the, we didn't even talk about the graphics too much. I thought the graphics was good, great story, um, very fast paced. Nothing was spoon fed to you, you know. It was so. a great story. <laughs> no, 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 good story. It was a good story, not a great story. I yeah, I did take that back. Um, because it was a it was a simple story. I'll put it that way. It was a, a, of a simple story, easy to follow. Um, which a lot of times in Marvel, it's hard to do at times, you know, like, you know, a story easy to follow. You're like, wait, what? But you're in this world and there's that dimension. And this one was a very easy one to follow. So uh, very kid friendly. You know, everyone else I heard that went and took their kids, their kids loved it. So, you know, I don't know if they're going after the younger audience with this one, but but yeah, I I enjoyed it a lot. Very, very well. Uh, I'm giving it a now as well. Um, real quick, some of the chat. We got uh, Victorious. So we got Martin over on Twitch. Uh, he's giving it a now. Uh, Kenny Sparks is saying a later. Giving it a later. Uh, Jason said, uh, I love the training montage. Yeah, that was great. That was really great, mm-hmm. too. Felt so good to see the, see that again. Yeah, the montage stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, uh, it's missing the Rocky song. Uh, Dre Max said, it's a great film to hang out with the family during the holiday weekend. Yep. I agree. So, I think I, that, this is a perfect Thanksgiving type of movie. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I see me definitely enjoying that. 
If you're watching on the replay, appreciate it. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the Marvels. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Where are you rating it? Um, but leave a comment. Let us know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And you can join us live every Monday and Thursday. Talking movies, TV, uh, comic books, trailers, all that good stuff. Um, so you can come check us out there. But appreciate all you guys. And like